Turkish defense manufacturer Baykar has officially begun manufacturing its renowned unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, the Baraktar TB2 and Akinci, on Italian soil. This follows the successful acquisition of Piaggio Aerospace's two main business sites, Piaggio Aero Industries and Piaggio Aviation, cemented on June 30, 2025, in a ceremony held at the Italian Ministry of Enterprises and made in Italy. The transaction received approval under Italy's Golden Power Regulation, which governs foreign investments in strategically sensitive sectors, signaling the country's commitment to safeguarding its aerospace industry. Baycar's purchase includes Piaggio's facilities located in Villanova di Albenga and Genoa. These sites will not only house UAV production but will also support maintenance, export logistics, and broader unmanned systems operations within Europe, extending Baycar's footprint beyond its Turkish headquarters. The handover event gathered notable figures, including Italy's Minister of Enterprises and Made in Italy, Adolfo Urso, alongside Baycar's CEO Haluk Baraktar and Chairman Selçuk Baraktar, as well as Piaggio Aerospace's extraordinary commissioners. Minister Urso highlighted the acquisition as a transformative step for Italy's aerospace sector, emphasizing the country's strengthened position in unmanned aviation through collaboration with Baycar and Leonardo, the Italian aerospace giant. A key development is the establishment of a joint venture, LBA Systems, equally owned by Baycar and Leonardo, focused on designing, manufacturing, and maintaining unmanned aerial systems. The partnership aims to serve European and global markets, anticipated to be worth $100 billion over the next decade, covering combat drones, surveillance UAVs, and deep strike platforms. Baycar pledged to retain existing employment levels at the Italian facilities and anticipates workforce expansion aligned with production scale-up. CEO Haluk Baraktar reaffirmed the commitment to industrial growth while maintaining ongoing projects such as the P.180 of anti-EVO business aircraft. Additionally, Baycar plans to set up a maintenance hub for aircraft and engines in Italy, in partnership with the Italian Ministry of Defense, which has supported upgrades to Piaggio's platforms in recent years. Piaggio Aerospace maintained operations during its transition without state aid or bank loans, underscoring the stability of the transaction. The Baraktar TB2 is a medium-altitude, long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed since 2014, with a maximum takeoff weight of 700 kg and a payload capacity of 150 kg. Known for operational deployments in Syria, Libya, Nagorno-Karabakh, and Ukraine, over 600 units have been produced. Originally dependent on foreign subsystems such as Canadian optics and Austrian engines, Baycar has transitioned to domestically produced components due to export restrictions, including the TEI, PD-170 engine and Aselsen's electro-optical systems. However, many customers still acquire the original Westcam MX 15D sensor suite via authorized distributors. The Akinsey UAV is a larger, high-altitude platform with a maximum takeoff weight of 5.5 tons and payload capacity of 1,350 kilograms. Since entering Turkish military service in 2021, it has been exported internationally and features advanced weaponry such as bunker-busting bombs and air-to-surface cruise missiles. Its onboard systems include satellite communications, AESA radar, synthetic aperture radar, and electronic warfare suites. The Akinsey has supported both military operations and humanitarian missions, such as disaster search and rescue. Baycar's integration of UAV production with Piaggio Aerospace's infrastructure also bolsters its strategic collaboration with Leonardo, which contributes capabilities in mission systems, payload integration, certification, and aerospace manufacturing. Leonardo operates several facilities across Italy that will complement the joint venture's activities, which also encompass multi-domain command and control, communications, and space systems development. Leonardo CEO Roberto Singolani views the alliance as vital for addressing emerging defense challenges like artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and next-generation fighter integration. Together, the companies aim to comply with European standards and export regulations while advancing AI-supported unmanned missions. Founded in 1884, Piaggio Aerospace has a rich history spanning aviation and automotive sectors. Despite several restructurings and ownership changes, 
including stewardship by notable investors such as Piero Ferrari and Tata Group, the company declared insolvency in 2018. Government-appointed commissioners then managed a restructuring without financial aid, achieving €152 million Euros in revenue by 2022. Baycar's acquisition, finalized in late 2024, marks the end of Piaggio's extraordinary administration and redirects its industrial base toward UAV production and aircraft maintenance in Europe. Continuing production of the P.180 Avanti EVO alongside UAV manufacturing, Baycar's Italian operations in Villanova di Albenga and Genoa will serve export, certification, training, and operational requirements across Europe. Consolidating TB2 and Akinsey manufacturing in Italy also aligns with NATO and EU standards, particularly as these UAVs see increased adoption among European partners such as Poland and Romania. Active talks with additional European operators reinforce this trend. The Baycar Piaggio transaction and the broader Italian-Turkish defense partnership underscore strengthened bilateral ties, facilitating joint technological innovation in unmanned aviation and shaping the future of Europe's defense landscape.